situation comedy, traditionally understood at least, is is profoundly Judeo-Christian in order in terms of the stories that you're telling, and you're always showing that moral choices have consequences, right, okay. and you distort and you change them, and you abbreviate some and you extend others, um, and so. But, you know, that's what parables are. They they don't tell the whole story. They're just telling a snapshot. They're telling one angle of a story. And so sitcoms are kind of compressed versions of reality. And we know that if Miranda, say, tells a lie at the beginning of the show, that that lie is going to have to be exposed at some point and the consequences will come out and mm. she will suffer the consequences for lying. If somebody is proud in a show, then we know that they are going to be humbled. And that is a... That is a cathartic thing that we that I'm in favour of, and I think that sitcom does that very well. They 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 are little morality tales. They are little mystery plays yes. um, that follow that Judeo Christian uh, pattern. And I think there are lots of comedies now which kind of don't do that, and they tend not to rate very well. They tend to critically do well because they seem very strange and challenging. But ultimately, there is a nihilism at the heart of them, mm. which isn't terribly funny. Because um, it's not very rewarding because we we are programmed by God because we are made in God's image for that Judeo-Christian ethic. And therefore, we shouldn't be surprised yes. that it that, that it tends to be satisfying when we get it. And right. the classics remain classics because they're written with that in mind, even though there are always mixed messages mm -hmm. and they're not written by Christians or performed by Christians. Or, But I think within within that traditional form of storytelling. Yeah. It has come from a Judeo-Christian culture.